give the output signal for the circuit. So we have the input signals P equals 1 and Q equals 1. So the way I like to do this is to just work left to right and I start by writing down um, the input signals on the left. So P is 1 and Q is 1. So let's first work with um, Q because in order to go through this OR gate we do need to go through this NOT gate first. So the NOT gate just basically negates the value so when you enter with a 1 you come out with a 0. So if you think of 1 as true and 0 as false, that seems to help me. So true becomes false. It's just a straight negation from mathematical logic. And so now you have 1 and 0 entering the OR gate. And again, I try to think of it in terms of, uh, of mathematics. You have true and false. So an OR statement is uh, true if at least one of them is true. So in this case, uh, 1 is true, so the result is true. So your output signal is a 1. The only time the OR gate will produce a zero is if both of the entries are zero. In other words, they're both false. Uh, again, goes back to uh, the mathematics. So in this case, the output signal is equal to one. I hope this video has been helpful.